It's been a week when Islamic State seem to be winning hands down, capturing Palmyra in Syria and Ramadi across the border in Iraq. In Ramadi in particular, the Iraqi army scarcely seemed to put up a fight. They just ran for it. In America, the Defense Secretary Ashton Carter went on one of the political chat shows today and was scathing about the Iraqis. Thank you. His remarks clearly annoyed the Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi, as I found when I went to see him. That's positively insulting, isn't it? I'm surprised why he said that. I mean, he, he was uh, very supportive of Iraq. Uh, I'm sure his, uh, he was fed back. He was uh, fed with the wrong information. Nevertheless, Ramadi was a disaster, wasn't it? It makes my heart bleed because we lost Ramadi. But can I assure you, assure you we can bring it back uh, soon. You say soon? What are we talking about? Months? No, no, I'm talking about days now. Days? Yes. If the Iraqi government does recapture Ramadi, it can't come soon enough for these people, some of the tens of thousands who've been escaping across the Bzebiz bridge over the river Euphrates, desperate to get away from the Islamic State fighters who are holding Ramadi now. It's boiling hot, well over 40 degrees centigrade. This little boy's been here for three days now. I just want to go home, he says. These people are Sunnis, and they haven't had much reason to love the Shia part of Iraq's population. Yet a group of Shia politicians has turned up to see if they can help, and they brought food and water with them to help the refugees on their way. All these people feel they've been badly let down by their army and their government. We'll soon find out if Prime Minister Abadi is right when he says he'll get Ramadi back within days. John Simpson, BBC News, Baghdad.